hey guys, this is Carmen for the new Happy Me, and uh, I am about to get on the new Happy Me radio. Today is the third anniversary celebration of the new Happy Me, and uh, we are about to go on the radio show in three minutes, according to the studio. I have the studio here on my screen, so if you see me looking there, that's what I'm looking at. So I wanted to do, yesterday I did the same thing, and it was really fabulous. I was able to record myself uh, video myself as I'm doing the radio show. So now not only will you be able to listen to me on audio on Block Talk Radio, but you can also watch me as I'm doing the show, which to me is, is just amazing. It's just so exciting. And uh, it's just amazing that today happens to be the anniversary show. So it makes it so much more special. Um, today, we will be talking about two specific launches. I want to talk to you more about that while on the radio. But I want to give you kind of a, um, a look at what this is all. I, here, I'm going to show you what it looks like here. See, that's that's my studio right there. Um, I have all my buttons there to be able to uh, get on the, the studio on the radio and you don't hear it but I keep hearing from the automated si uh, system uh, three minutes to show time two minutes to show time and then it will count down it will say blog talk radio to start the show and then I'll be able to start speaking so that's how it goes that's how exciting it is to be on the studio waiting for the show to go on air and you know what if you have something uh, an amazing story to talk about about happiness about the new happiness Happy you contact me at Carmen at the new happy me .com. maybe I can get you on a show you can be my guest and we can chat on the radio show so we now have about a minute left so we're gonna be counting down I'm hearing it from here that's why you can't hear it uh, on the video itself <sighs> I have three dogs walking around and uh, they went out a bit they were barking at a squirrel before. I'm just hoping that they're not going to make too much of a, of a thing here <laughs> if the squirrel passes again. It kind of gets chaotic when you have three dogs around you, right? So uh, we have about 30 seconds left to go for the show. the countdown. I'll count down with you just for you to know. Hello, hello, this is Carmen Marie on the new Happy Me radio and it is absolutely exciting because today is the new Happy Me anniversary. It's three years, it has been three years now already that the new Happy Me um, has been founded, has been growing and developing into something that is so much more than I expected at the very beginning. That's the new Happy Me. Started with the new Happy Me .com on the 10th of October 2010. That's 10, 10, 10. Auspicious date, isn't it? That's what I thought actually after uh, I put it together. I bought the domain name and I started creating the website, the new Happy Me, with my first blog on the 10th of October and I hadn't even realized what date it was. I realized a bit later and I said, you know what? this is it this is meant to be this is something big I don't know where it's going but I know that it is going to be something big and in fact it is in fact the new happy me is something uh, tremendous I don't even realize how big it is yet uh, tonight I'm going to be on Lorraine Gordon's show uh, she has a show called a journey into now she has built her own new website a happiness way your happiness way and uh, she will have me as her guest on the show tonight night at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can check out A Journey Into Now on Blog Talk Radio if you're interested. Um, we are going to match my vibrations 
to my goals, to the new happy me goals, and specifically to blog to heal, which I'm going to talk to you about. So that's pretty interesting. I want you to go um, 7 p.m. tonight Eastern or on the replay. Go and check it out. Maybe this will help you also. This is something, it's not only for me. We're going to do that experience and we're going to do by video as well so that you too can um, learn how you can use visualization and meditation to bring your vibration levels, your energy to a level that matches the energy of your goals because your goals are part of your purpose. They're part of your mission. So Lorraine's going to help me with that. And uh, she is going to uh, indirectly help me with blog to heal because that's the campaign that I'm working on right now. That is really part of the new happy me that has um, kind of come out of the new happy me and um, join forces with venues and platforms that are out there and a community and a movement that makes the new happy me so much better, so much bigger and so much more accessible to everyone out there. So it is very exciting. It is incredibly exciting. Uh, you know, blog to heal is something that just came to me a few weeks ago, maybe not even uh, two months ago, um, six weeks ago at the most. It came to me, I started thinking about it, um, the pieces of the puzzle started coming together and it, it just developed. Uh, I put together a presentation, you can go check it out at blogtoheal.com. Just go check out the presentation, what Blog to Heal is all about. I'm going to talk to you about, a, about it a bit here on the radio show, uh, but if you want really the details and whether you choose to become part of the project Blog to Heal or not, that presentation will in Indeed, give you a lot of value, a lot of information that you can use right now to start creating change in your life for life improvement for yourself and your loved ones as well. So that pre presentation, it's called the eight secrets to getting unstuck, feeling fabulous and rocking a career that you love. So same as what um, what I've been talking about on the radio, uh, if you're watching this on the video, because actually uh, anyone who's listening to this on the radio, I am actually videotaping as I'm doing the radio show. So uh, if you want to check that out, just go into YouTube, check out the new Happy Me channel. The new Happy Me is all written in one word. And um, check out this radio show. You're going to see it with the date. And uh, you'll be able to watch me, animated as I am, uh, um, doing the radio show uh, live. So uh, on the screen on YouTube, you will see that the screen has blogtoheal.com, get unstuck, feel fabulous, and rock a career you can love. And of course, my dogs have to be barking right now. <laughs> I have three dogs, so what can I say? In my home office, this is a reality. Whenever anybody passes, they cannot allow it. They have to bark. <laughs> so uh, let's get back to blogtoheal.com. This is a project that I really, really hold very uh, uh, dear to my heart. It is something that I have been thinking about for a very, very long time without really having given it a name because I really didn't know how to develop it. I tried something two years ago and I really didn't have all the tools that I needed back then. Now, all the pieces of the puzzle have come together to allow me to bring this to you. And it's just so much more special knowing that I'm in my anniversary week. Um, it's October, October 10th today, 2013. That's three years of the new happy me as I am learning and growing with the new happy me and with you, with you too, because I have learned so much through your feedback, through your comments and through your growth, because the more you learn, the more you grow, the more I get that feedback to understand what it is that will help you more. What do you need on the new Happy Me path to help you improve your life, for you to live your mission the way you were meant to live it, for you to live in full alignment with your purpose? And that's what is so very important for me. It was what I started with. I needed to be aligned with my purpose. And if you've followed the new Happy Me for some time and you have some archived episodes in uh, the new happy me radio where i do explain it uh, i've gone through a lot of 
a, a lot of challenges in my life, just to say it nicely. Uh, you know, a lot of dysfunctionality, domestic violence at home, a marriage that really went down the drain very quickly. Uh, I became a single mom with uh, two very young children overnight. I had to call 911. So that was, uh, you know, and I, I really do consider myself to be one of the lucky ones where I did seek help, even though I wasn't seeking help for um, the right reasons. I did seek help and I did get it. I get I got the support through about nine months of trying to figure out what was going on at home because I was in denial about it until finally uh, the abuse and the violence became worse and worse and worse. And we came to the point where I had to to call 911. And uh, so overnight, I became a single mom with all the responsibilities on my shoulders, including all the family financial responsibilities. So here I was trying to juggle my life and it was difficult. It was very, very difficult for me to try to make sense of all of this, having just come out of maternity, uh, not having an employment that could allow me to support the family in this way. And I had to get back up. I had no choice. But from having no choice and struggling to getting excited about life, creating challenges for myself and really growing through that, that's a whole different world. And that's what, what I want to bring to you. You know, the new happy me um, is really for starters. It's to get you on the right path to help you find the things that you need to find the information, the resources, whatever it is, the messages, whatever it is that you need to find to get started on that path. If you have already done a lot for yourself, if you have learned a lot, you have followed self-help a lot, if you have developed um, in different areas of your life in order to improve your life, this is probably not for you. Uh, you may learn a few things, but this is probably not for you. It is for you, though, if you feel stuck. If you feel stuck to the point where there's an area of your life that is really not going well, and you know it, you know that you need to create change there. Or there are several areas that are really, you know, you know that they're going downhill, and eventually you are going to hit rock bottom. You don't want to go there. You may have to go there, but you don't want to go there and you feel stuck. You don't know where to start to create change. So when you're feeling stuck, when you don't know where to start, the new happy me comes in and gives you those messages. It gives you the tools for you to be able to start on this path, for you to realize what is indeed going wrong here. And to realize that, you know, when things are going wrong around you, there is one common denominator if there are a few areas of your life that are going wrong, if there are a few relationships that are going wrong, if there are a few events or situations that you are unhappy with, there is one common denominator, and that is you. That common denominator being you doesn't mean that you will be taking blame for this. Not at all. It does not mean that you will be taking blame for what's happening to you. However, you will be taking responsibility. And what that means is taking charge. Taking responsibility means that you understand that you are the common denominator and you make a decision today to start creating change. You are responsible for your life. You are the one who is going to change your attitude in order to create change in your life. It isn't your mother. It isn't your father. It isn't your family. It isn't the community. It isn't the religious leader. It isn't the politician. It is you. And I want to make that 110% clear. You are responsible for your own life. And no matter what's happening around you, you are the only person who can take charge of your own life, be responsible for your life, and make a decision today to start creating change. And that is really the essence behind the new happy me. It's making a decision and taking action. And that's where I bring in Block to Heal. When I started the new happy me, I started it as a business. It was an online business and a decision for me 
to start creating change in my life. As a single mom, I had done so many things. I bought one house and uh, I ended, I, I was in an apartment at one point. I sold, I sold the house that I was in with my ex-husband. Uh, I got in, into an apartment, a very, very nice apartment. It allowed me to find myself back to get out of depression and so forth. Um, I bought my first house and I decided that I wasn't going to stay in there. It was a smaller house uh, with two kids and uh, at that point, two dogs already. I wanted a bigger house. I wanted more space. That's what I was used to. And I was just pushing my limits. So I went on to get a second house and the first house is rented now. So I started investing that way. I started building my assets. I got this house. I, uh, I have a home office now. That's what I was looking for. Um, but meanwhile, there were other things that, are, that were happening. I was building my career. So I was doing very well in my career where at the beginning where my husband left, um, I had a regular, administrative type job that wouldn't pay me enough to take care of everything but i knew inside of me that i had ambition ambition so i pushed through my comfort zone through my belief systems and i you know i i made myself uh, valuable i made myself worthwhile to the point where my boss or whoever I was working with, they realized that there is value in this person and she deserved that. She deserves to take on more responsibility and uh, a higher pay. She deserves that promotion. So I got two promotions that kind of doubled my salary, which allowed me to do so much more at that point. Uh, by then, um, my son uh, was going through school. He was having uh, health issues. He was having health issues related to school. Uh, so I didn't want to get him on medication. There were a lot of things that I could do and I did all of them. I really followed through with all kinds of testing. Uh, I went to Toronto a few times, which is six hours away uh, drive. And uh, I made that happen. You know, I made a decision to really look after my family, to really do as much as I could. But the thing was, with all of these things that I was doing, I was creating growth in a lot of areas of my life, except for one, and that was me. I was taking care of the home, I was taking care of the children, I was uh, getting better at um, my career, I was uh, really pushing into my career, but I, was, I wasn't thinking about myself. I had forgotten myself as a person, as a woman. I had become the mother, the director of operations, the whatever else, the nurse and the dog owner, the mom, everything else except for a woman except for me. I was not Carmen anymore. I was losing myself. And the danger in that is that when you feel like you're so unhappy, yet on the outside, everything seems to be growing and, and doing well, the, it clashes. There's a conflict because inside of me, I really didn't feel well. But from outside, people saw something else and they envied me. And they told me that I was so lucky, that I was doing so well. Yet that message didn't really match what I was feeling inside. What I was feeling inside was com completely broken. I had no clue where to start. And that's probably where you are today also. You know, there, there's something that's off. You feel stuck somehow because you're not happy, but you don't know where to start. And it may be just like it was for me that on the outside, everything looks so good. And people are telling you to just shut up and sit down because you have it good. Well, I'm sorry, but sometimes it may look like I have it good, but I am broken in a million pieces. And I really need to do something about this. I need to create change. And so the, the, the idea that I got, I mean, it, I think it was divinely sent uh, a message that was meant to be a lot more than what it meant to be back then. Uh, I created the new happyme.com. I went through an exercise. I bought a program, a bootcamp program to build an online business. I went through the whole process. I uh, built the online business, the website uh, but to buy the domain name and, and create the business brand, I had to do an exercise. I, I had a notebook and I was writing in my ideas and I just came up with the new happy me thinking that it would be a coaching type business. Somewhere where I would talk about 
um, self-help. I would talk about personal development and I would do my research, uh, sell products from the big ones, the, the Bob Proctors and, and the Robin Sharmas of the world. But uh, I didn't realize how much it would help me. I didn't realize how much blogging and learning from the experts would help me in my personal development. And it did. It really, really did. And um, I'm, I'm talking about about uh, two years of growth within the new happy me. In the meantime, I also took coach training. I certified as a coach. I started coaching one-on-one, -on -one, so I, I learned even more. I brought in that coaching information, those resources into the new happy me as well. It grew even further. And then I joined Empower Network. Empower Network is a blogging a platform but the community and the movement that these guys have created is beyond anything that I have ever seen ever before and so I really love this community uh, I learned a lot from them I learned a lot more about blogging about online business and about changing your life making that decision to change your life and whatever was missing from the equation on building the new happy me including the new happy me as Carmen, the new happy me, um, I got it from Empower Network. All that mindset change, all the looking into limiting beliefs and how I was still holding myself back after two years of, um, after two years of working on the new happy me, on, on my mindset, on uh, what I wanted to do to develop my self-value, my self-worth. I still had a lot to do. I still had a lot to learn. And it was through, really through Empower Network that I learned so much more that I was able to build myself uh, thanks to the experts, thanks to the leaders within the community. And so um, this brings us two and a half years into the new Happy Me. And now I have all these resources, all these ways that I am uh, helping myself grow while I help others grow, which is the, the best formula for even more growth. And uh, we came up with the new, with the, the, the uh, project, I came up with the project name Blog to Heal. And Blog to Heal basically uh, brings back the idea of how the new happy me started in the first place. Although I did it inadvertently, I really didn't realize what was going on. I was really blogging to heal. And the beautiful thing is that when I started the new happy me, I really didn't know uh, what I was doing, what tools I should be using. Um, I really didn't also know how the resources that I was using would be helping me. Now I, that I kn do know that, I have compiled a whole bunch of tools and resources that we can use in order to blog to heal. And uh, ways that we can use these tools in the most efficient way. In the most efficient way, uh, not in terms of energy and time, more as in um, the healing power, which is what we're really working on, right? It's, it's all about healing old wounds and healing uh, limiting beliefs so that we can move forward and so that we can um, really create a, a new life for ourselves. Uh, to, for you to create the new happy you, for you to get that chance as an, at a new start. That's what it's all about. So if you go to uh, blogtoheal.com, you will have that presentation. And in there with the eight secrets to get unstuck, to feel fabulous and rock a career you can love, you will have those eight secrets. You will have that information right there on the spot. So even if you don't join the project Blog to Heal, you have a lot of information there to help you out. Now, uh, that doesn't include coaching, obviously. You take that information, you can, you can use it. Uh, it, it will serve very, very well. It has a lot of value. It has a lot of information. Uh, if you already are a blogger, you can use it, definitely, and you can make something out of it. Now, what I wanted to offer, though, through the new Happy Me, because I'm ready to get to the next step. I'm ready to push this to the next level. I am ready to um, really create that ripple effect, because this is not about me. This is about the world. This is about creating a ripple effect of healing 
um, I'm seeing it like a pink energy, you know, um, a pink, loving, a caring, compassionate, and empathetic energy that will just spread out and touch so many people, thousands of people out there. But I can't do that alone. You are involved in this. And I want you to be part of Blog to Heal. So now what happens, I, I really want you to go check out blogtoheal.com. I want you to check out that, that presentation. It's only an hour long and you'll have a lot of value in it. But basically what you will get out of it as well is that you can become part of this movement and part of this community. You can get unstuck yourself. You can start feeling fabulous. You know, I've said this before. Before the new happy me and before the new happy me developed in a way where I was able to really build myself in, from inside. I mean, I'm not talking about outside. I'm talking about really um, valuing myself for who I am, for who I have become through all my struggles and for embracing my challenges now. I used to, before, before all that, I used to, you know, see myself in the mirror and um, kind of pass by fast. Uh, I didn't like what I saw in the mirror. I never felt like I wanted to smile. I didn't like that person. And I wasn't sure about where that person's life was going. I wasn't sure that that person's life was, was worth it. You know, it reminds me, I have this bracelet here. Uh, if you're watching this on the video, you're, uh, it's the, the um, kind of orangey red one. Um, I got this bracelet a year ago, I believe, yes, a year ago in September. Uh, I went to the live event with Brendan Burchard. Uh, it's the Experts Academy event. And he has something that's written here. It says Brendan Burchard on one side, but it says, Live, Love, Matter. And I always wear this bracelet as a reminder. Um, Brendan told us from stage before he started anything else, so Ex Experts Academy goes in a lot of details and a lot of technical stuff uh, for online business marketing, but it also has a lot to do with your attitude. It also has a lot of that the new happy me message. So it really rang uh, true to me. It's, it really spoke to me. But before he started the whole three-day conference, he started with telling his story about his struggle and how he came to realizing that he had a mission and he talks about live love matter uh, he tells us the story about how he got into a very big accident and he was basically he he thought that he was going to be dead uh, he he really didn't know whether he was dead or not at that point and he is basically going through the motions uh you know how every second feels like hours at that point when uh, you're going through that that period of the accident the actual accident so in his head apparently a lot of uh, visuals came in uh, about who he had a around him his family his loved ones and the things that came to him apparently were did i live did i love did i matter and these are very strong words and they're very very powerful when you use them to really be the best that you can be and that's why i wear the bracelet all the time just as a reminder did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? And back then, that really didn't mean anything to me. Back then, when I saw myself in the mirror, uh, I didn't see that in me. I was kind of going through the motions. I, I, I wasn't really sure where I, where I was going, and I kind of felt old. I kind of felt like I had done a se several decades of my life, and I really hadn't gotten anywhere yet. So I kind of felt like I didn't matter. Like, you know, I was just this, this mom taking care of her kids and I was going to work every day, coming back from work every day, um, making supper every day. I didn't feel like I, my life really mattered for anything, like I was doing anything. And that was um, really a very sad feeling inside and it was part of feeling stuck. So that's what I want to bring to you with Blog to Heal as well. I want you to get excited about life. I want you to feel fabulous when you see yourself in the mirror. I want you to come to Blog to Heal. Go to blogtoheal.com. Put in your name and your email address so that we can get started, so that I can give you more information on when we're going to get started. It is going to be beginning of November. We are going to have coaching sessions. We are going to blog together. More information on blogtoheal.com. Just register.
No obligations, just register, watch the presentation you are going to want to register. This is a no-brainer. This is going to change your life. And you know, it's all about getting unstuck, getting started on this path, and starting to feel really fabulous. And beyond that, we are going to help you. For if you want to do this for yourself, if you want to help me with this ripple effect, with this movement to spread that pink energy everywhere in the world, you can be a leader as well. You can be part of that new Happy Me energy with Block to Heal and with the Blog Beast. You can create a business of your own, helping others Block to Heal, piggybacking on a, on a project that already exists so you don't have to do anything else. You can you know, add your little um, pieces to it if, if you want to put more of yourself in the project and the way you present it to your, uh, to your peeps. But um, basically the project is going to be there. You can just take it on and uh, take ownership of it, go out and help others block to heal, help others get unstuck and feel fabulous as well. That's how you would be rocking a career that you can love as well. And what's the blog beast? How, what is it all about? Well, so far we had blogging platforms that were available to us, but in order to be able to do anything with them, you had to be somehow or somewhat technically inclined. Not everybody is able to put all the pieces together to create a blog site, a website that they can use in a very simple way to blog to heal. Because blog to heal is really something that we do on a on a personal basis you know it's it's something that we're creating as a community but we're doing it as individuals we're not doing them we're not doing this necessarily as a business so it's not something that we want to invest a lot of money in as a business it's not something that we are ready to work on as a business this is something that starts off as a very personal um per personal journey personal adventure so you want to get in uh, with block to heal you want to use a very user-friendly platform something that is going to be uh, very inexpensive very user-friendly very uh, dummy proof uh, very accessible uh, on the internet you want a platform that is there that is meant to be used by anybody at, as simple as writing in a journal in your notebook that's how how simple you want this to be well finally the blog beast is coming. Um, it's about to get launched and we want to use that. I want to use the blog beast and I want to use the blog beast for blog to heal. Uh, there is no other system like it. Uh, this system is really uh, the best out there, completely innovative and will make this accessible to all you, uh, all of you out there, you who wants to blog to heal. So go to blocktoheal.com, watch the presentation to understand more what it's all about. Uh, how Block to Heal is so much better than just sitting at home and writing in your journal. I want you to be part of this community and part of this movement so that we can accelerate your healing process so that we can jumpstart your journey into becoming the happier you. So that's it for today. Go to blocktoheal.com, register for that, and uh, I'll speak to you soon, okay? Thank you for joining me on the new Happy Me Radio. So the system just said goodbye to me. That was Block Talk Radio. We're still on the video. I hope you enjoyed the show. I, ha I hope it's half an hour, so I try to jam pack it with as much, as, uh, as much information as I can while giving you a feel, uh, you know, that the emotional part of it, of where this is coming from. Uh, Block to Heal is a project. It is built under the new Happy Me. The new Happy Me is a business, uh, but it is a business for you. It is a business where I am here to help you grow, to help you make the best of your life, to make, um, to make sure that you get started uh, and, and take, that, take advantage of that pink energy that I want to send you out there. And uh, really get aligned with your purpose because you are meant to do something very special in this lifetime. Um, you will live, you will love, you will matter if you haven't started yet. And I count on it. 
and I want to be part of it. I want to be part of your journey. If we've crossed our paths today, it is for a reason. So go to blogtoheal.com, watch the presentation, register. Uh, there is a waiting list now to register for the Blog Beast and Blog to Heal project for the coaching sessions. You will understand more when you watch the presentation. And I'll keep in touch with you to let you know when we're getting started, when we are going to put our blogs together and we are going to create that ripple effect that I want to create with the pink energy around the world. So that's it. Uh, I'll see you soon. And uh, I hope you'll join us. Blocktail.com. Bye-bye.